Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Want to hear more information about the Vega? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Today we're going to discuss more Vega, more Vega news. Now, I've seen a lot of interesting comments in the last two videos that I've done, and people are some people are upset, and some people are excited. Got a lot of thumbs up, a lot of likes, and a, and, and a few dislikes as well. If you you have to think about this, in in I want everybody to understand that. Um, having AMD or the Radeon CPU or GPU come into play in terms of um, competition, this is good news for both NVIDIA and AMD and Radeon fans because it'll finally lower the cost of the flagship NVIDIA GPU. Now you have to, you just have to think about this. You can't always have just one leader. That then it warrant then there's no reason for the price to come down. The card will always be seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars for a video card because they know they're the best. But if there was somebody else on the block that was just as good, then NVIDIA has some really major competition where then they can't price their 1080 Ti at eight hundred dollars or six or eight hundred. What is it? Seven hundred and change, whatever. Seven hundred and seventy-nine dollars, whatever it was. What's really interesting is that Nvidia is actually price gouging. When that Nvidia, the 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 video card manufacturers that are actually, uh, the, the it just, I've seen the prices eight ninety-nine for a retail card that's supposed to be seven seventy-nine. They're charging hundred dollars over uh, MSRP because they can there's nothing there's no other competition why would you why would you not want AMD to succeed cheaper cards hello and many 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 people paid that price I actually review, uh, did an unboxing of one yesterday which the video will be coming out probably tomorrow um, the whole unboxing and demoing and everything w was great but the thing is is that if Vega is uh, what it's claiming to be, uh, then we have a possibility of having a second place card. 1080 Ti, which was just released, AMD Vega 10, which will be second place, and then the 1080, the GTX 1080. And that's good news for both people. The NVIDIA people and the AMD people, you have to think about that. It's really important. You, the NVIDIA guys, will save money. That's good. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't be bashing AMD for trying. They're trying so hard to do a really good job and to really help the AMD supporters, essentially, is what it is. People who are really, I'm going to, I'm actually saving up for Horizon because I want to try it out. I do a lot of video editing. And I need the I need the CPU cores to actually pound out these videos that that I do. Uh, my 3770K is pretty much done, I think. I mean, uh, whatever. But but you know what? Everybody's got their own their own path and their own thing. Oh, AMD sucks, and a lot of people say, oh, Nvidia sucks. But believe it or not, Nvidia is in the lead, and I'm hoping AMD will actually come ahead for everybody's sake so what it looks like what's going to happen is that the vega is not going to be um, announced until june the first week of june uh, the rx 500 series the replacement of the rx 460 470 480 will be in the next upcoming weeks uh, this is march uh, probably in the next, probably, I'm thinking April, for, uh, the first two weeks of April, the first half of April, we're going to see the new RX 
series lines, the AMD RX series. The RX 5, uh, 580, the RX 570, the RX 560. Um, that's the Polaris line. So that, that should be really interesting. So the Vega 10 and the Vega 11, the Vega 11 is the smaller brother of the Vega 10. So it's a kind of a clock down version of the Vega 10, which is fine, but everybody puts out their top of the line first before they do, you know, any of the smaller uh, sisters and brothers of the video cards, which makes sense. That's what you which we'd rather have, but we should pretty much be, um, I'm trying to have everybody in harmony here. I know it's not something that it's probably a good idea, but believe it or not, and NVIDIA guys want AMD to succeed, so then their stuff is cheaper. Simple. So I'm Vega 10. Oh, real quick, before I forget, there will be 32 gig and 16 gig cards. Uh, there will be a four gig Vega as well. I don't want to forget this, but it's going to be a single HBM2 uh, memory configuration. It's not going to be stacked. So it's just going to be, it's going to be 1024 bit, uh, four gig, and that's going to be like the lower end version of it, of the Vega 10 GPU line. Then when they hit the eight gig mark, they'll double it and they'll, they'll be 2048 bit. Um, but that's pretty cool. And then they're going to be triple stacking it and then adding more memory and, and more uh, performance. And, and you could just figure out it'd be 3048 bit. You get the idea. 4096 bit when they go a little higher. So it'll be quite double stack, triple stack, quad stack. Whoa. -ho -ho. <laughs> so, um, this is the, the, the technology of the H, HBM2 uh, coming to light finally. Hey, we're finally going to get to see it. But um, the I have a video, which you've probably seen already, but I'm going to include it anyway, is Vega running Doom. And uh, it's quite quick. Obviously, they're probably using the Ryzen uh, uh, CPU, the 1800X for this. They don't disclose that. But one would wonder that, you know, they're running 4K and they're getting like 75 frames a second or 70 frames a second, whatever. And I'm going to show it here. My name's Gilbert. I'm a technical marketing specialist at AMD, which means I get to show off cool demos. And today's cool demo is the flagship Vega running at Doom at the ultra image quality preset. I'm doing about 60 FPS right over here. And I'm getting some totally smooth gameplay. I can make all the headshots I need to make, but I just love doing Berserker mode. Oh, all this and more with Vega coming soon. So now that you've seen that video, there, this is good. This is really good news. So I really don't want to beat, you know, <laughs> beat this to death, but Vega is going to happen. And uh, the refresh of the 480 series is coming in the next couple of weeks. So the, the RX um, 500 series is right around the corner. So that probably why they didn't really, it's kind of silly. I, I really don't understand why they're doing this, to be honest with you, because within two months later, they're coming out with the Vega. So in the first week of June, first week of June, well, the Vega will be announced. Simple. And they'll finally be out and people can buy it. And, and uh, the prices have not been um, pushed out yet, but rumor has it between $399 and $429. Or 449 or something like that. Yeah, 399, 449 is the rumor. So this is good news. Um, if you like this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, if you <laughs> if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. This is good news for both both sides, AMD and NVIDIA. Let's get these graphics cards down in cost. Everybody wants to be a gamer, not just the people who have money. Take care.